Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne and uh, this is the book He's Redeeming Love and uh, this is uh, um, chapter 56 uh, called Visions uh, in the Park um, and uh, uh, I, um, I hope that um, you um, enjoy uh, what I've got to say here. Uh, this uh, was a, a night, uh, I was coming home, uh, it was uh, late at night, about 11.30 uh, at night, uh, it was on my birthday, I'd been out and uh, been with people on my birthday, it was like a special day, uh, being my birthday. Um, it was uh, only about a couple of weeks after I'd asked for visions and dreams, uh, when I'd uh, contacted Jonathan Edwards uh, uh, via telepathy with Jesus uh, instruction and so it was uh, not so long after I'd asked Jesus uh, for the ability to see visions and uh, I uh, was uh, walking through a park and now this park um, had bats in the trees and bats make this awful sound. Uh, I feel that it's similar sound to a demon. It's uh, this real screeching sound and it's hard to get used to and uh, Jesus had taught me to walk through the park regardless of, of the screeches just uh, go through the park at night and so I was walking through this park on my birthday and uh, I uh, was uh, was um, coming up to uh, an intersection in the park where there's a grass area and uh, you can't approach and then you go off to the left uh, to go out of the park but there's a grass area. When I got to the grass area I felt that there was a number of people from heaven standing there and I could see them in my um, in my mind's eye. I could see uh, where you see memories and you see uh, memories of movies and stuff in your mind in, the, in a movie part of your mind. I could see a group of people standing there, noticed Jesus and he said hello to me and uh, I was very happy and he uh, bid me a uh, happy birthday and uh, I, um, I saw uh, another person and uh, I just got the name in my head, just a, a name come to mind and it was Sadhu Sundar Singh, um, S-A-D-H-U, Sundar, S-U-N-D-A-R, Singh, S-I-N-G-H, um, and he was a famous uh, uh, preacher, apostle that uh, walks through India and has died and uh, he was in the park and I was so surprised and so happy to meet him. Uh, I'd read uh, writings of his, I'd read accounts of his life and uh, his life really impacted my life and I wished that I could be like him and uh, I'd be a measure of uh, as good as uh, he was and, uh, and um, so it was such a surprise to meet him on earth and he was very humble and very happy to meet me and uh, said a few words to me which uh, I can't remember at the moment but they were meaningful words and then another uh, uh, name came to mind and it was uh, Keith Green and Keith Green uh, back 25 years ago was a popular Christian artist that uh, died in an airplane crash with one or two of his children and uh, Keith Green's music had had a big impact on my life and once again I was uh, absolutely surprised and shocked that uh, Keith Green was in the park and both Sadar Sundar Singh and Keith Green and even Jesus were, used to live on earth and now they reside in heaven so they're saints that have come from heaven or Jesus isn't a saint but um, Sadar Sundar Singh and Keith Green were former Christians that um, come down from heaven to uh, visit me. Um, some people at this stage might be wondering what's the biblical precedent for this and uh, you remember that Elijah and Moses uh, came down to visit Jesus uh, at, at the Mount Transfiguration when he transfigured himself 
Um, so it's possible for someone who uh, the world considers dead uh, to come forth um, out of uh, that existence uh, in another realm and uh, come and visit uh, people on earth. So Jesus had it happen and I was able to have it happen. Um, and so I was real uh, happy to meet Keith and uh, I was, uh, you sort of feel really honoured uh, when someone like Sadhu Sundar Singh, which is uh, one of uh, the most powerful men to have walked the earth, um, uh, powerful in his own right and with healing and miracles and uh, all sorts of testimonies, that uh, to actually meet you, just a normal person, uh, is amazing. Uh, it uh, really blows uh, my mind uh, that I'm able to meet someone like that. And uh, to meet Keith Green, uh, uh, like if, if he was living now, I'd probably never get the chance of meeting him. But um, because he's been to heaven and uh, because he's living in heaven's realm, Jesus is able to bring him down to earth uh, to visit me and uh, say hello to me. And uh, it really meant a lot to me. Um, someone asked me uh, one of the tests or, or shares that one of the tests of visions, uh, proper visions, is that they make you draw closer to Jesus uh, and uh, make you uh, increase your faith and uh, encourage you to walk closer with God and these uh, visions certainly did uh, uh, talking uh, uh, back in uh, the year 2000-2001 and uh, I've still got fond memories of uh, meeting uh, those two uh, with, with Jesus on earth so my, my um, eyes were opened um, they're officially opened uh, I uh, was able to not only sense the presence of uh, uh, Jesus and Sadhu Sundar Singh and Keith Green and uh, the other angels that were in the park but I was able to see them with my spiritual eyes and uh, be able to uh, converse back and forth and to be able to hear them and ask questions and uh, be able to receive answers to my questions uh, so it's almost like meeting the person face to face in the flesh. Um, many people wonder, like uh, when I've met Jesus in the flesh, they wonder um, if they could meet Jesus in the flesh, but meeting Jesus in the vision is almost as good uh, as uh, meeting him in the flesh and uh, being able to converse with him face to face is uh, something that's amazing. And so Jesus uh, uh, had asked me when I uh, spoke to Jonathan Edwards in, in my dream um, what af after I'd spoken to Jonathan Edwards in my dream Jesus had asked me what I wanted and I prayed for visions and dreams and now uh, within a few weeks I, I was experiencing uh, visions of the Lord uh, which were um, which were amazing and changing my life and making me uh, feel uh, totally special, totally unique. I, I felt like um, one of the um, happiest and luckiest people on the face of the earth uh, because I was meeting people that had such a big impact on my life. Uh, they weren't just uh, saints from heaven, they just weren't uh, people that were in the history of the church that I knew about. These both people, Keith Green's songs had had a tremendous impact on my life and the life of Sadhu Sunday Singh had had a tremendous impact on my life. Um, I, I couldn't have uh, asked for better people to come and uh, visit me and uh, it was a tremendous uh, present on my birthday. Um, so um, I um, pray that this has blessed you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.